Hey what's up guys, today we're gonna be testing the mass airflow sensor on Alfa Romeo 147. As you can see from this awesome drawing right here, it's a 5 wire sensor which means that it also has uh, the intake air temperature sensor which shares the same uh, ground wire with mass airflow sensor. Second wire we have is gonna be the constant voltage wire for mass airflow sensor. The third wire we have is going to be the constant voltage for intake air temperature sensor while the fourth and fifth wires are going to be uh, the signal wires which go from both of these sensors to the ECU. You can use this same procedure to test pretty much any MAF sensor regardless of the make and model. But this particular sensor can be found on any Alfa Romeos with uh, twin spark engines. In case we had a sixth wire right here, uh, the sixth wire would be a separate ground uh, to the air intake temperature sensor. Now let's check out how it's done on the car. Just to be clear, the engine is on, but I decided to mute it uh, for the sake of the audio quality. You are gonna need some basic tools like uh, multimeter, uh, some alligator clips, and uh, you're gonna need uh, T-pins or regular paper clips so you can back probe the mass airflow sensor. As you can see right here, I've decided to ground my multimeter to the battery negative because I don't want to put two paper clips uh, to the mass airflow sensor because in case they touched, they could create a short and cause damage to the ECU. As you can see, first wire is giving us three volts uh, and since it doesn't change uh, when I step on the gas pedal, I'm going to assume that that wire is signal wire for uh, intake air temperature. To, to test it, you would either have to start it cold and measure it, then measure it when it's hot, or uh, you would either have to disassemble some of the tubing uh, before the math and you would have to apply some kind of heat source and look for the voltage change. The second wire right here uh, is giving us 13.9 uh, volts and it's a constant voltage uh, to, our, to one of our sensors. It doesn't matter which one, uh, what matters is that we are getting the voltage. The third wire is our ground wire and as I mentioned it's shared by both sensors. Our fourth wire uh, is giving us 5 volts and it is another constant voltage to one of our sensors. The fifth wire uh, is giving us 1.25 volts and it, it is actually the wire that interests us the most. Now let's see uh, what happens uh, to the voltage when I step on the gas pedal. As you can see right here, when I step on the gas pedal, the voltage increases and that's the good indication that it's a, it is a signal wire for the MAF sensor and that this MAF sensor is actually measuring the air uh, that's coming inside the engine. However, this still doesn't mean that this MAF sensor is not uh, dirty. Uh, you would have to like do slight, uh, slight RPM increase and you would have to look for the change, uh, for the change on the multimeter. The best and the most accurate way uh, to measure to measure your uh, mass airflow sensor output is to hook up your car uh, to the diagnostic device. 
keep in mind that diagnostic device doesn't have to be like the fancy one like even the most basic ones will give you the mass airflow uh, voltage uh, now let's hook up our alpha to diagnostic device and let's see the readout we are gonna get okay as you can see right here uh, our readout is not measured in voltage but rather in kilos of air per hour uh, that really doesn't matter because what we are gonna do right now is we're gonna pull out the graph and we're gonna measure the graph as we apply uh, the gas so if I click on this uh, icon right here we're gonna get a graph and as you can see I'm gonna apply uh, the gas pedal as you can see right here even though I s slightly apply the gas pedal our ECU is registering the signal uh, this is a great indication that our mass airflow sensor is uh, working and that is basically it if you like the video please hit like button and subscribe